Welcome back. We are joined once again by Erie News Now digital producer Ariana Moyer with the top three trending things on our website, erienewsnow.com. Yeah, so we're going to start with something a little bit sad. We're going to talk about the skydiver who recently broke a world record, but she did pass away. Um, then we're going to talk about reaction to Erie Insurance, new policy there, and then the lottery. We have some winners out in Warren County. All right, so let's start with the sad news. So. Dorothy Hoffner, the 104-year-old woman who rec whose recent skydive will put her in the Guinness World Record book for being the oldest skydiver, uh, recently passed away. Now, this was not related to her jump at all. She just happened to pass away in her sleep a few days later on Sunday. Um, a friend found her and he said that regardless, she was always mentally sharp and a very amazing woman and she actually skydived for the first time when she was 100. She just loved it so much she wanted to do it again and was not trying to break any records. So he is working on still getting her in the book but that's a process. You have to fill out a lot of paperwork there but rest in peace. She had a great jump and broke a record while she was doing it. Our commenter said she was just waiting to go out in style and just wanted to have one last hurrah. Hey, why she not? Did. That's living life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. And kind of speaking of commenters there, you can kind of see our viewers' comments and feelings on Erie Insurance's recent policy uh, in regards to working from home and being in the office. I know you guys kind of talked about just now the facts of it. So this is what people are saying. So a majority of our viewers are against the change, saying things like, until COVID is 100% gone, everyone should be allowed to work from home, or they hope that the business loses employees from changing this policy, while others are saying that it's about time and that people are only mad because they can no longer work in their pajamas and things like that. So they're, they're, it's divided, I would say, but mm -hmm. regardless, like you said, the policy will be going into right. effect next year. So. <laughs> regardless of the internet comments, the policy yeah. is going into effect yes. anyway. All right, let's talk yeah. lottery. All right, so we had six winning Pennsylvania lottery tickets uh, sold during the recent two drawings. So those were totaling $900,000, and we had a country fair out in Warren County earn $105,000. A uh, $500 bonus for selling the $150,000 ticket. So I know nobody won Monday's drawing, and you guys are going to talk about tonight's. But uh, if you if you're trying to win, York County had two winners in this six, and Warren County had one. So maybe go out that away. I'm just saying. You oh, never yeah. know. Dauphin the County odds. was one of them. Yes, yeah. yes, no, as well. No, there are statistics well. teachers who are throwing remotes through the TVs <laughs> right now. Please don't go buy a ticket somewhere else because it's lucky. You know better than that. No, no, that's the point. It's luck. It's magic. It can happen anywhere. <laughs> right? Right. All right.